fingers you have used to dial are too fat. Mercenaries of the Kingdom. First Blood. Is another Vampire Survivors clone. Okay, it's a little different. You can only play with mouse and keyboard at the moment. Enemies drop gold, which you can spend at vendors scattered across the map. Each sells different wares. Example, one sells big swords, one sells steroids. What else do you think is in those potions? But they all sell mercenaries who join your party and fight alongside you. Each character can be equipped with weapons to power them up. Your party can range from 6 races, but they're all cosmetic as far as I can tell. You can buy from 12 different magic. Feel the power of my magic! Over 210 weapons and 650 pieces of armor. Plus there's over 140 enemy types. Impressive numbers for sure, but it doesn't matter if the game's not challenging. All I had to do was buy a powerful weapon and ride around on my lovely horse running through the fields. <laughs> on the diverse enemy workforce. And they couldn't touch me. Didn't matter if it was mushroom men, dragons or giant owls. To be fair, this mode is called Quick Run, which is described as play a quick game without too much worries. The latter is correct, but these games could essentially last forever until you get bored and quit. There's three levels, grass, ice and desert. Mercenaries of the Kingdom's developers, Insane Dreamers, live up to their name, stating goals for the final game, including gameplay balancing, bug fixes, a story mode, more types of battles and a much larger sequel, which will be a Banner Lord style campaign where Urfiel is under attack by mysterious invaders. Slow down guys, finish this game first. One day at a time. Sweet Jesus. Speaking of bugs, there was a part whenever I was stuck in a tight space and the enemies wouldn't let me out and I just had to wait until I died essentially. So hopefully they'll find out a way to get out of that because it was kind of just frustrating how I couldn't do anything. Insane Dreamers say once the game's fully released, the price will increase 50 to 70%. I say keep dreaming. I do not recommend buying this game in the hope it gets good. Vampire Survivors is cheaper and much higher quality, but I hope the developers can prove me wrong and that I am not an insane dreamer. Please mash the keypad with your palm now. <laughs>